Hi everyone, my nickname is Banana. I am a professional player from Spain and also a Metafy coach. Today I'm gonna teach you how to train like a professional player. That being said, I am going to show you different methods that I use for training before a tournament. Let's start. When you get pretty good at this game, you might want to improve even more your skills, right? And something very important, your reactions. So how to improve your reactions? We are going to divide this video in three parts. First, punishment training. Second part, common reaction. And third part, low moves reaction. Let's start. First of all, you need some context to understand what we are gonna see today. So it is said that moves over 20 frames can be reactable, especially low ones. But that depends on what move we are talking about. Let's leave this for the end and let's start with the punishment reaction. So let's say that you have problems punishing Claudius moves, right? So how to improve that? Well, in this case, uh, I'm gonna show you a method that I personally use when I have problems. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna record the key moves, the main uh, key moves from Claudio and we're gonna punish it punish them uh, through our reactions so we're just gonna come here repeat action number one record and in order to make it a bit more real we're gonna do forward forward and then we're gonna press the key move right so let's start with the hop kick for instance forward forward hop, hop kick and then we're gonna do the same with forward forward back one then forward forward down one plus two and for instance forward forward four three right that being said how do we train our reactions now so for instance i'm gonna activate the first one which was the hop kick so basically against the hop kick you need to punish it it is minus 13 so with the hop kick it is minus 13 so you need to find your 13 frame punisher right once you have it or your 12 depending on the character once you have it you know that you need to punish uh, like this So now we're gonna activate the second one back one back one is minus five So this move is just gonna bother uh, Us during the exercise, right? So the third one we recorded was Down one plus two which is minus 18 is a shoulder. So that means it's launch punishable So you need to find your launcher with your car so now that the four of them are um, activated we're just gonna try to react to the three moves that we've seen before plus the high high move so we need to react and duck that one as well so let's go for it that's not punishable that's not punishable that's minus 13 that's high we need to duck and punish nothing and like this that's how you train your reactions. Hi, hi, we've seen that. That's shoulder, I missed it. Okay, I don't miss it this time. There we go. And minus 13. And you keep like this. That's how you punish, uh, you train your punishment reaction. And if you want to even make it harder, um, in case you feel very comfortable with this exercise, you can even add a, a common throw, for instance, or just a simple throw, just something there to bother you. Um, so, for instance, you can record the, this grab. So, at some point, you're gonna need to break throws as well. Um, even if you, if there's, uh, for instance, this one that we recorded, this was safe, right? 
So if you feel very very comfortable, you can put two throws in case you are bad at breaking throws. You can also practice this. So you put one here, the other one here, and that's it. Um, you can mix mix it all. You can mix the throws plus uh, the moves you need to punish, right? So that's basically how you're going to react to all these moves. And that's how you're going to get familiar with uh, many moves from uh, the character that you don't know or the character you're learning or the character you have problems uh, playing against. Right, so let's move on with the common reaction. Right, what does that mean? So when I talk about common reaction, um, I refer to those moves or those strings that you know that they can be uh, stepped or ducked but we never end up doing that in real match so now it's time to practice that for instance with Claudio I have uh, selected three different moves for instance uh, this is a two string that can be stepped to the right that possibly I can dupt on doing on in real match so that's why, why I want to practice it then I have this other move, which is a three string move. I can practice my parry as well, or I can step it to the right. Sorry, I need to walk it actually. So that's just the second move. And then the third one is the same that we've seen before. It's a move we need to duck, right? So. This is the common reaction. Let's activate the three of them and let's try to uh, make a good streak. Let's try. At first it's gonna cost a bit, but once you get used to it, um, you can get good at it. That's why what we want here. One. One. Two. Let's start over. One, two, three. Oops, wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Like this. This is how I train common reaction. You can also add uh, grabs here, same we've seen before, um, duckable strings, stuff like that. That's how I train it. So now let's talk about low moves reaction. Right, so in this exercise, uh, the best idea is to practice your different uh, while standing punishers, right? So for instance, I'm gonna record fangs down back three and fangs down two. So it's very important to distinguish the low moves because for instance, fangs down back three is launch punishable as you can see here. And fangs down two is minus 12. So my Punisher is going to be while standing 4. So that's the idea of the low and the common reaction trainings. The more Punishers you can use in one exercise, the better. Because um, you get to practice all your Punishers and that way you, improve, you can improve faster your skills. So if we activate the both of them, we need to check the difference. Thanks down 2 is hitting with the hand and fangs down back three is hitting with the leg it's a kick right so let's try to distinguish both and that way uh, let's react and try our best punisher That's it. If we want to make it even harder, we could include something like down for one plus two. So if we activate the three of them, let's try. 
My mistake. There we are. There we are. That's it. Down for 1 plus 2 from Feng. It's a low. And then it's a mid, minus 10. So that way we need to wait and then punish the second one. Let's try again. Bad timing. There we are. And like this. This is how I train. This is my method. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There are many exercises you can do with many characters about low moves, um, common reaction as well, uh, or punishment reaction. That's something uh, you can do with any character. Record the moves, try to get better, mix them. If you have three, then only activate two of them, then activate uh, different, try to make it diverse, try to make it, um, you know, different and just try to mix mix up yourself that way uh, you will improve you'll definitely improve your skills and your reaction which is the most important thing here in order to show you one more example we're gonna check this mix up with jack the debugger and the mid is two frame difference the debugger is 24 frames and the mid one is 22 so it's two frames difference. But here we are, just trying to get used to the motion. Of both heads. We're getting there. There we are. That's much better. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the, these uh, methods that I've showed. Uh, as I said uh, previously, these are the methods that I use for training before tournaments and improving my reactions. So that being said, if you want more information, you can find my YouTube channel, which is uh, Banana Tekken, or you can book a session with me on Metafight. Thank you so much to Dashfight for trusting once again with me. Um, I really appreciate that and I see you guys in the next video. Peace.